Hey, my friends, so I just built my dream home studio and I wanted to take a tour with you. I bought this house two months ago and I have a big open space basement. It's very empty, as you can see. I'm just having my elliptical machine where I run in the mornings. And uh, the wall that you're seeing here wasn't even there. I, we built that so that I can have my dream studio. So I'm going to take a tour with you. Ta-da! So that's my new studio space. It's really, really awesome. The first thing when you uh, enter the room right here, you have two remotes. The first one is the little lighting. So I'm having like four lights in each of the corners and I can change uh, the color. I can do blue or green or red or even like smooth <laughs> like this. Uh, I bought this on Amazon, I think for a hundred bucks or something. So today I feel like purple. And then I have another one, another remote. And that one is for the motorized blinds. So I'm going to open them because now we don't have a lot of light uh, to film this video. So that it's going to be much better with the blinds open right here. So uh, here you go, a little tour. What I really wanted is to have like two different sets to film my videos on each opposite side. So this is my typical like black backdrop uh, with the chair and the pedal board in front. I am going to need a new backdrop because this one is very thin and it starts having holes in it. So probably a new one. But I wanted a second set on the opposite side with the couch and furniture and stuff so you've seen this one in my last uh, two videos where I'm filming here so I want more variety in the kinds of settings that I can have for my videos uh, then I'm having like my little shelf with my physical albums sanctuary space culture scordatura now I don't print my albums anymore because who does <laughs> who buys physical CDs anymore and then right here with my many new neighbor and, and Strymon pedals, my YouTube plaque and many of my uh, business and self-development development books that I've read over the years. Uh, maybe you can try to see some of the titles right here. Uh, I'm having a, a Fender Precision Bass my 12 string guitar and my acoustic guitar uh, aside from my typical Sir White Strat. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, start using more a shotgun microphone like this one uh, so that we don't see the microphone in the shot of the video right here. Uh, before I was using and I still have my Sir SM7B right here so whenever i make a live stream or something i'm going to be using the moving arm and film in front of my computer uh, before in my previous apartment like the wall was like right there right so i could extend the arm and film just beside the black backdrop but now it's like too far uh, i had like a room like 9 by 12 but now it's like 20 by 20 so it's a lot of space then my little corner for my amps so the Sir Badger 30 and the Vox AC15. And then I'm having the little corner for my keyboards to, to practice for my band Mystery. So I'm having, I'm using Arturia keyboards. They're just controllers. And the sounds come from my MacBook Pro right here. So it's nice to have that small little corner right here. Uh, I had the acoustic treatment uh, installed today so that was uh, on, on the ceilings I have like three big ones on the ceiling and like 15 panels on all of the walls right here uh, the echo was really really bad when I made the room right here it was like more than two seconds but they brought it to uh, about 0 0.6 seconds which is much much better uh, shout out to uh, studio solution in Montreal who did that for me uh, they uh, took all the measurements and they installed the panels so if ever you're in Montreal and you need some acoustic panels give them a call 
And uh, what's really nice is that for my keyboard setup, I'm having some super long cables go from here all the way to my little setup right here. And then I can just change the input on my little uh, passive monitoring controller to B. So when I input B is the keyboards and input A, it's gonna be the studio monitors right here. And also I like a good rug, right? So I have a, like a super big rug right here oriental style a little bit and uh, the previous rug that I had was like super super thick and that's because I didn't want to invest in acoustic treatment on my previous apartment because I knew that I wanted to eventually buy a house a, a few years after that but now uh, this one is a lot less thicker so I'm super happy about this space it was just to show you because I'm gonna make my videos for a very long time here um, super super nice so on next Thursday I have a super great video for you it's my ultimate lesson on dotted eight delays I've made lessons like quick lessons uh, over the years on dotted eights but this one is gonna be a, a beefy lesson where I'm gonna show you many techniques with dotted eights I'm gonna show you exercises in a song to practice so that you can become a master of dotted eight delays so look for that in a couple days on Thursday and uh, thank you so much I'm gonna try to put in the description box many of the things that I talked about in this video the microphones the all the gear that I have that I can list I will happily do it uh, in the comments below and uh, voila that's it for today thank you so much for watching and for being a subscriber of my channel and I'm gonna see See you soon with a new video on Thursday. Until next time, au revoir.